I know it's been a while, but I've had various things to deal with. Um, apart from my mum's death, I've had legal issues and things to deal with, so it's been a bed of roses. But anyway, I'm still here. I haven't gone anywhere. I'm still around. Today, it's not safe for you set doors day. And this is my MP5. It started off as a strife and a lot of you will go oh that's boring it's all black or oh it doesn't have an orange tip well this is for display purposes and indoor use and private fields only um, primarily indoor use but I do have um, the red light laser as well as the tactical light both attached to the Picatinny rails on the side um, I'm not going to take the kit off because just to show you the internals but it runs on a 1000 milliamp hour zippy compact 40c that's a 2s and that that is the one that Michelle from phone blast said is the one that she uses herself so needless to say it's got Paramichel 2.0s in there. I've taken out the original stock cage and replaced it with um, a 3D printed one that I, I printed off and it comes to 42.5mm. 42 so it does give it a bit more crush and I've put worker black oblique wheels in there. Um, it does still have a removable stock which just makes it look silly the suppressor is metal as is the end cap but that just looks goofy because it's supposed to be silenced so it's an SD it's meant to have a silencer on it and I thought why not no yeah I thought why not treat myself to a nice worker mag and while I was doing the build, I decided to put active motor braking in. So it's got a 3D printed rev trigger as well as a mag release that I did and a skeleton trigger that I printed off. Um, that one's a foam blast uh, Bobololo style trigger that I 3D printed. And that one is a mag release from somewhere. This skeleton trigger, I can't remember. But the kit I bought from Monkey Mods, which was still expensive, but I always wanted an MP5, so it was the first thing I went for. Um, with the new motors, with the clean wiring and everything else, it really is snappy and it revs instantly. So you can hear it spin down really quickly spin down really quickly and it spins it just as quick so with that said I am going to do a shooting demo on my own property um, it's about 50 foot from the door to the fence ish so 50-55 from the kitchen door to the back fence so I'll be doing that um, I'm going to try and do two videos today and get them out so that I've got some backup and I've got people that might actually see these videos um, yeah that's what we get nice kit good solid stock 3d printed you can tell by the feel the rest of it, I just put a, coat, a few coats of vinyl dye on it and a layer of clear coat and yeah, it's MP5s are all supposed to be black. That's the point, apart from the suppressor which is like a aluminium -y charcoal -y grey colour. But yeah, it's not obviously not safe for use in the street. I wouldn't carry this around in the street because people wouldn't, wouldn't even know apart from the fact that it's stacked full of darts, they wouldn't really know. 
Um, so yeah, if you're going to do this, do it for your own private collection. Do it because you like it, do it because you enjoy the build, you want something that looks realistic but isn't, or just something for display purposes or indoor use only. I made mine functional because I didn't see the point in buying a kit and making it non-functional and putting stock stuff in there. I may as well make it shoot something special. So firing range will be next. I excuse my garden for being a mess. Got to get a new garden up, but still. Um, I'll be doing the firing range momentarily. But first of all, I've got something else to go over, so the firing test will wait a few minutes. But yeah, that's been my MP5, and I'll see you in a moment. Okay, overgrown garden. Shooting test, MP5, 1000 milliamp hour. 2S40C um, LiPo with Michelle 2.0s uh, firing 15 from a worker P mag with the Punisher thing. And that's 55 yards to the uh, 55 feet to the back fence. So I'll be firing at about 60. Headphone users beware. Okay, those are all level shots. So as you can tell, it performs quite well. Those were 15 at the mag. I'll give you my final closing words in a moment. So, final thoughts on the MP5. It performs quite well, as you saw. It quite happily hits 50 feet flat, 50, well 60 feet flat, no problem, and that's using um, just the diopter rather than using the uh, laser assist. Um, it performs really well, um, I'm glad I increased the crush on the cage and put high crush wheels in. Um, I wasn't sure the motors would be able to take it, but they were more than happy because that's a snappy rev and it feels incredibly comfortable but then that's to be expected with an mp5 that i'm not allowed to use anywhere ever but that's not the point the point is i made this for me this is not for public consumption it's for me you can do this if you want to if you've got open fields that you can play on or public ground, uh, private ground, um, mine's only on private ground, um, or it just hangs in my collection as a display piece, that's it, um, it just happens to be functional as well, because I didn't put it to the point in making something look pretty if it didn't function well, so overall, really pleased, really easy mod, trigger can be a bit wonky, um, but that's got a 16, I think it's a 16 amp, amp micro switch in there and 18, no, it's a 21 inch micro switch in there, I apologise and 18 gauge wiring all throughout because I want you know, the best current flow from that battery um, overall, very pleased with it don't take these outside, just don't because it's, it's bad, it's a bad impression and yeah, you might go, oh, it's a really boring paint scheme. But I wanted something that looked like an MP5. Because I've always wanted an MP5. And now that hangs proudly on my wall. Just as a display piece. Nothing wrong with that. So, yeah. Overall, I love it. Because it's an MP5 SD. What more can be said? So, yeah, display piece or for indoor or private land use only where there'll be no civilians, well, civilians, where there'll be no um, 
passers by that spot you um, carrying something that looks like a real firearm or an imitation firearm. So know your laws, be careful, just look out for things like that and don't go waving it around like a moron in public, just don't. It's just stupid. So yeah, nice kit, got it from Monkey Mods, good price, easy to fit. Um, you only really have to take the blaster apart if you want to keep it stock just to replace this section where the uh, the old uh, sling point was and then that slots in its place then the barrel slides over that and you've got basically a modular if you want to unscrew it you can put another front end on it but I'm happy with what I've got more than happy but you won't see it anywhere else Unless you come to my house. So that was my P5. Take care, no fun, don't get in trouble, don't do anything stupid. If you do do something stupid, hide it. <laughs> I'm kidding. Um, just don't be an idiot. Don't go taking something realistic looking at it in public. Basically, don't take Nerf blasters running around the streets in public. Because um, people tend to frown on it. And they think they're dangerous and they're not, but you know, people's minds. Anywho, have fun, no fun. I've been Matt, I'm still around, not going anywhere. Take care, and I'll see you soon.